doing? Hello, we end up welcome back. So today I am doing something that I've seen some people, artists do before, which is where they look through some of their old artwork. Um, this is just going to be like a chill video because I don't really have time to do like a little piece or actual artwork today. So I'm just going to be looking through my artwork and I'm going to try my best not to like, crit well, try my best not to like criticize my old artwork. Um, okay, that is such a better position. I don't know what I was doing before that. Um, but anyway, so this artwork is from when I was 9 and 10, which I'll just say is about, it, it's over five years ago. This was a while ago. Um, you're going to see some interesting pieces of artwork here, and um, I'm excited for this. This is going to be great. So just keep in mind, back then I didn't have a sketchbook. I basically just drew with like crayons and pens and markers and whatever I had. Um, yeah, everything is like loose paper. That's why I have it in folders. Let's just get started. I'm excited. Let's dive into this and see uh, what crap um, I drew. Starting off with this first lovely. Um, this is from when I was nine. So let's get started with that. Okay, first thing we got is a skeleton. Uh, okay. So let me just take this sticky note off and reveal the secrets. My name is actually Natalia. Yes. <laughs> I just use Leah as my nickname because that's what most people call me. But um, yeah, I just don't feel like putting sticky notes on like all of the artwork because I signed my name on like all my artwork. So yeah, the secret is unleashed. Anyway, that's the first piece. Okay, so I thought this was really cool at the time to like color a strawberry shortcake page, but like with one color. Um, yes, let's move on. Okay, so this next piece, um, so basically what I would do is take, like, um, coloring books and color each picture, but then I would try to make the coloring book into, like, a book, like a story. So I guess this was a page? I don't know. Okay, so if you guys were, like, kids in, like, 2014 and stuff, you probably watched lala loopsy um yeah i really like that show oh my gosh this is such a creepy like title like play with us. Come and play. i don't know that's just creeps me out but yeah that's that oh yes <laughs> oh yes okay so basically um when i was younger i used to make up like so many games and stuff like that i'll just say i played until i was like 14 um but anyway and so, um, this, I had made up this one, like, world that had, um, my siblings did it too, not gonna take all the credit. But anyway, there was a castle, there were princesses and princes and stuff like that. And so, these were three of the princesses. The colors I used were very bright back then, um, they were just, like, cheap markers. Oh, yes, I love making little, like, comic strips. <laughs> she said, did you see the two towers? Oh my gosh, I'm not going to even read the rest of this. It's so cringe. If you want to pause it and read it, you can. Um, anyway, on the back, here's a failed piece. You know that one, like, stage where you try to do side profiles and it just, it doesn't turn out? That's kind of like what this was. I actually liked this piece for a really, really long time because, okay, th there's a really cool story behind this. <laughs> story time! Okay, so basically... I remember when I colored this picture, it was just gonna be like a cool house and I did it with Crayola crayons, right? So a couple days later, I took the picture out of wherever I had put it and the whole picture was covered with sparkles as if the crayons were like sparkly and I was like, how did that happen? And then it stayed that way for a long time and the other day I was actually looking through this folder for like something and I saw this picture and the sparkles are gone! Like what happened? But yeah, so this picture is like I don't know, it's just really cool because of that. Um, in my art class, we were trying to make these really cool, I forget what they would call it, um, where basically you just like draw circles and shapes and then color in each like <laughs> shape. I don't, know. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, that was that. My 3D skills weren't like the best at that time. We got a lovely picture of a mother and her daughter. Apparently that was supposed to be the son, but you know what? <laughs> I didn't really like drawing guys back then too, so 
Oh my gosh, why did I put my full name on every page? Ah! Okay, so this was a picture. Um, my sense of skin tones, guys. <sighs> Look, okay, I used what I had. I used the supplies that I had. So apparently, this is a family and they went shopping. Okay, so these are more of those princesses. Um, their hair is like really, really bright. I think I used the highlighter. Um, yeah. What is this though? <laughs> like, it makes me feel uncomfortable. Oh yes, I remember this uh, piece. So it's a girl and she has a boat. What? I literally did not care about like the oars at all. I don't even understand like, <laughs> you guys can see I was like really good at like science and like drawing you know item also my animal skills have were not any better back then okay so this was um the the princesses that i had drawn before this was like their mom that's like all i have to explain this even back then i remember thinking that her torso was way too long i mean i didn't know like the right words for it but i knew something was off and i think it's the torso <sighs> also like <laughs> what the bamboo sisters so they're supposed to be like superheroes i'm not gonna get into all the details because like all my artwork back then was like connected to like elves and like stories i made up and games and so yeah just let's just go with it oh yes the love band okay so i made up this band called the love band obviously um and there were like four were there four or five members i don't remember um but yeah, so on each page, I drew the members with their different instruments. It was supposed to be like a really iconic like music, music album, like picture. Them playing on boats. Seems kind of unsafe, but you know. And then over here, we have these two characters playing their instruments. What is... She's not even holding the guitar. That's supposed to be a recorder, by the way. <laughs> I played recorder back then, so I thought the recorder was like really cool until I learned like no one played the recorder, so... So that's that yes girl rock that yellow lipstick okay so this is like a really ex oh, a good example of um what i mean by like the elves and stuff that i would draw so there was this one period in my life um when i really really liked drawing like woman archers and like warriors so here's an archer um she's handling that bow very well Okay, on the back of this picture, here's more like warriors, they're swimming. Here's a girl. Okay, here is the full love band. Everybody in the flesh. Why did I only color on her hair? I don't know why. Queen Arena, the dwarf queen. What a flattering dress. Here is another female warrior. Okay, so that was all from that. Um, by the way, I probably have like more artwork um, from this like year but um i <laughs> probably lost it okay so i was 10 in this year so this is like the year right after the other four first we've got a drawing of a train um <laughs> these are the wheels yeah oh this is really cool i made this mermaid family and so this was like inside of their house they have this like tube instead of stairs they like swim down through this tube here's another like random this is actually not from when i was 10 this is from when i was nine mistake well anyway um this is another <laughs> lady what happened here um the knees i can't even like what was going on with the knees honestly but yeah, here's just another like random city drawing. I think I have one here too. Yeah, but that dad is really tall. Um, a little sketch. Here's a girl, she looks really bored. Um, she's like, why are you guys staring at me? I'm just trying to eat my cookie. And then over here, um, oh, this was a really, really sad one. Basically this girl named Lena Ebb and her friend Kayla Nod, such clever names. And Lena got a little telegram and it says in war Captain Ev died. So she's crying. And so yeah, it's kind of sad. Okay, so here are the elves from the world that I had created with my siblings. 
um, Aaron, Kata, <laughs> and Arky. <laughs> this is from A Whole Different World. I'm not going to, like, explain it, but that's what that is. I love drawing, like, princesses and stuff back then. Um, then over here, we have another um, badly drawn side profile. By the way, guys, I'm just kind of, like, joking when I critique this stuff, okay? I know back then this was just, like, my skill. It's just funny to me. Um, oh, yeah, so I was trying to draw this, like, Victorian family. So here they are. That is not how you spell Louise. Like, ma'am, no. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what this is. Here's some more princesses. It looks like I was trying to, like, experiment with an art style. Um, she's bald. Ellerina was a fairy that I created. So this was her house. On the back, we have Ellerina and her little sister um, in the garden. Look, the sun is just like, hey. Okay, here is Ellerina and her family. I actually really like Ellerina's mom's dress. It's actually pretty. <laughs> the dad's hairstyle. Oh my gosh. Okay, starting to get into some realism here. Here's a little simple marker sketch. <gasps> Aquila of Ghost Town! Okay, so she was from that one, like, fantasy game that me and my siblings made up. Princess Twinkle Star. Um, she was supposed to be, like, a fairy warrior. A girl sitting cross-legged making a fairy crown. Cute. Okay, I actually really like this one. So when I was 10, I was really into, like, horses and stuff like that. And so... Um, this is one of my like hor well, horse drawings. Kind of funny and I showed my mom that she was like, is the horse pregnant? Because the horse's belly is so big. And so I was like, uh, yeah, even though it wasn't. But now I consider the horse being pregnant. Okay, so this is the beginning of like a comic that I made where all of the numbers were people. Here's another horse. I think this is with a gel pen. The goddess Athena. I, really, I also really liked like Greek mythology and stuff. Another princess. And another princess. Some girls having a tea party. A girl reading at the window seat. This gives me like Jane Eyre vibes. If you guys have read that, then you'll probably know why. Here's a page from that um, cringe comic that I made. You can pause it and read it if you want. <laughs> Some cute outfits. Okay, so this is like a weird stage where I basically drew characters that didn't have faces. I just thought it would just draw more attention to like their clothing and I also didn't really know like what I wanted my style for faces to be um but yeah that just kind of explains that guys I remember this I was so proud of this painting like so proud of it um I think this is tempera paint and it was supposed to be like this rainy day with some houses <laughs> Okay, this is, I actually really liked this for a really long time, so it's supposed to be, like, very anime-inspired. This was when I started to get into my anime stage. A poor family. So, I made up this superhero called Billion Girls. <laughs> so, this is Billion Girl when she was little. And this is Billion Girl when she was big. Okay, I was so proud of this for so long. Oh my goodness. Um, this is also made with, like, some pair of paint. Um, it's supposed to be like an anime girl, but you can only see it's basically a mugshot another archer piece But this one was like my favorite one that I ever made It still is kind of cute. Oh my gosh. I remember this an anime girl. Oh boy. We're entering into that stage This was supposed to be like an L arena piece, but I never got finished a girl standing in an awkward position a girl named any and lastly, one more mermaid picture. Well, there's actually this one on the back too, but... And lastly, one more mermaid picture. Alright, well that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I actually had a lot of fun looking through old artwork. If you guys want to see me look through more artwork, because I have tons more folders of like old artwork, then um, let me know in the comments. I actually really like looking through old artwork because it helps me just see like what I used to be inspired by and also how far I've come. I also am thinking about redrawing one of these in a future video, so if you would like to see that, comment that down below and then tell me which one you would like me to redraw. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys have a beautiful week. Remember to keep your artwork too. Looking at old artwork just really helps to like re-inspire people, um, and so I really encourage you to do that. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. Again, hope you guys have a lovely day. Bye!